Hey there, welcome back to Let's Suffer Together. Today we're going to dissect the Ponzu boss fight, the fourth boss of the Crystalline area in the newest update for Undermine. First impressions on the stream were quite surprised. Seemed to extend from the idea that the boss fight should get harder at some point like Nori or Morta, which can make for some great gaming moments. Either way, let's get into this boss fight and see how it plays out. See if I have any advice. This is the first time you'll see Ponzu with just one head. I think at the start of every turn, where you see one head, two head, three head, four head, they always bang the wall first. And he threw out a bomb there. He can do two attacks in a row, something you really want to watch out for. Again, banging the wall for two adds. And I've slowed this down because this is the only telegraphing for this attack, so it's important to know what he's doing. Leaning the head back, thrusting forward, get out of the way because he might boop you with his snoot as well. You really don't want that, want that happening. When you first come across two heads, uh, it gets a little more complicated. But at the end of the day, they just throw out bombs. He knocks the wall for some adds, and he just sees done it again and again. Throwing out the bombs, throwing out some adds. And he went around like that for three times. They do have some other tricks up their sleeve, though, with the old breath again and the shockwave. And they'll do this twice in a row as well. But you do have some opportune moments to hit the crystals, especially when, if they're not side by side like that, you'll have a lot better chance of actually getting closer to them. When they spread out, diagonal, or in opposite ends like this, you'll have a much better time. But says me there, where I'm just rubbing myself in the damage. Ah, oh, just to show you again, you know, how much health I lost in that phase. Even more chaos now with the three heads. You get more of a crossover with the four main attacks. The shockwave, the breath, the doubling of both the adds and the bombs. But this ad had the audacity to lift me into space. Not even getting a boop from the snoot of Ponzu. It will be a recurring problem as you get more Ponzus. Adds will build up. It'll be harder to get rid of actually attacking the crystal. You will want to keep on top of them though, jumping around, trying to keep in a central area because it seems like the center ground is king to move around from if you're not being aggressive and attacking the crystal. But even the fire and electricity didn't do that much of a job. Just hope you swing us fast enough to do some good damage. And attack when it's safest, when he's hitting the wall or finishing up a series of attacks. And for the fourth and final time, if you made it this far, congratulations, it's about to get a whole lot nuttier. All four Ponzus hit the wall for one out each, some of them have a protective bubble, he fires out bombs. It's getting crazy in here. The fortunate thing is, the Ponzus can do the same attacks each, and the crystal is always present, so when the main boy with the crystal is fired, you can go in for the kill, because he's distracted with other things. And you can get a glorious finish off. It's why I managed to clear up with very little health there. But you've got a lot going for you in this fight, if you can make it past the third level. A monkey, what are you doing? Either way, you enjoyed the full fight, I think you deserved it. Thank you for watching, I'm gonna shut up now. I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and enjoy.